Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new product review video. So as you can see here, the guys over at Tessin sent me over a smart uh, Wi-Fi dimmable switch. Now this is pretty cool. Uh, it runs with the Tuya Smart Life app, of course. So uh, we are definitely going to give this thing a shot and try to uh, set it up with Tesmoda custom firmware. Not sure if that's going to work or not, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so as you can see here, uh, the best place to probably get this switch is uh, on Amazon. It's a little over 20 bucks, uh, which isn't a bad deal. I have seen it on Ally Express as well, so um, definitely another place to uh, check it out if you're not uh, big into shopping on Amazon. So let's do a quick run through everything we're going to cover in this video. So uh, for starters, we will uh, start by unboxing the device. Once we do that, then of course we're going to try to get this thing installed in the wall and we'll kind of walk through that a little bit. Uh, once we have it installed, then we're going to get it added into the Tuya Smart Life app just to show you how that works. Uh, from there, we will go ahead and attempt to flash it with custom uh, Tesmoda firmware using a Tuya Convert. If all goes well, then we will configure Tesmoda. Once it's configured, then we're going to get it added into Home Assistant. And lastly, of course, we'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so as you can see here, this is the uh, MJ-SD02 model of the uh, uh, dimmable switch. I know there are a lot of different manufacturers under the Tuya setup that of course use this uh, this type of switch so um, this should uh, you know fingers crossed should be able to be flashed with uh, Tasmoda firmware and hopefully depending on what version of the firmware it's running we will get it uh, in there using Tuya Convert. Nonetheless uh, this switch comes uh, pretty standard in the box you have your instructions on how to uh, uh, get this thing set up within the Tuya app of course, uh, as you can see here, it's got all the wires that come directly off of it, so you can just uh, use wire nuts to uh, connect everything up. It's very easy to install. It comes with its own uh, wall plate, but it does use uh, the standard Decora uh, size, so you can just add it into a, a regular uh, Decora wall plate as well if you have one that you already like. It has all the screws to mount it with, and of course it has the wire nuts as well, so it makes it really easy to uh, install this thing. Let's go ahead and head on to the next step. Just to give you a rundown of what we're gonna do here, this is the wall plate that we're going to, uh, where we're gonna install it. This is my son's room. As you can see here, this wall plate uh, and switch is pretty disgusting looks pretty dirty so it's definitely time to get this thing cleaned up and get something uh, updated in here uh, right now he currently only uses one of these uh, switches uh, to control his light he does not have a fan in his room so uh, we really have an extra switch here that we'll probably end up using for something else at some point uh, but for right now we're gonna go ahead and replace uh, this whole setup here all right, so I have a two gang uh, Decora wall plate here. And of course I have the extra uh, Decora switch for the other one so that I can replace the whole setup. Uh, but this should run pretty smoothly, I think. And just to kind of move this thing along, as you can see here, I have the switch uh, wired into the wall. Everything is kind of wired up as it should. I've turned the power back on. Just want to make sure that everything functions as it should before I finish installing it in the wall. And it uh, looks like it's got power. Everything seems to be functioning as it should. So I think we're good to go. And of course, as you can see here, it's fully installed in the wall now. Wall plate is put back on. Everything looks nice and clean. Uh, so we are ready to move on to the uh, next step of getting this thing set up in the Tuya Smart Life app. All right, so uh, 
once we have it installed in the wall, then we of course are ready to uh, get it configured in the Tuya Smart app. Uh, now I'm not going to go through the uh, whole installation of the Tuya Smart app. Basically, uh, hit the App Store if you don't already have it. Do a search for Tuya Smart, and of course you should uh, see it right there. Uh, it'll be a red icon with a white T on it. Uh, get that installed, and then of course you'll have to create an account within the uh, Tuya Smart Cloud. But once you have all that up and ready to go, then of course you are ready to hit that plus in the top corner up here. And then we're going to go through and look for the Wi-Fi switch. Once you select that, then of course you'll want to put in your wireless credentials for your home network there that you want this device to be added to. And it should start doing a scan. Now in order to get that device in pairing mode, at least for this testing switch, you will hold down that power button for about 5 seconds until you start seeing that light blink. Uh, once you see it blinking, you know it's in pairing mode, and of course while you're scanning for it, it should uh, connect right up. Shouldn't take too long for it to find it. Once it does, then of course it'll come up and allow you to uh, change the name to whatever you want to. Since this is going in my son's bedroom, we're gonna call it uh, Caden's Bedroom uh, Light. And then uh, from there, as you can see, you have the ability to now control it from within the Tuya app on your phone. See if we can't get this thing set up uh, with a Tasmoda custom firmware. All right, so uh, we are going to start by using our uh, trusty Raspberry Pi. Uh, with Tuya Convert installed on it to uh, get this thing flashed with Tasmoda firmware. First things first, we will need to, of course, remove it from the Tuya app, which we just added, because uh, you can't be added to the Tuya app and have Tasmoda firmware on it. So we're going to remove it from the Tuya app. It's easy to do. Uh, you'll basically just select the device, hit remove down in the bottom there, and uh, it'll, of course, ask you one last time just to make sure that's what you want to do. And then we can go ahead and get it removed. All right, so here we are in the console of uh, our Tuya Convert Raspberry Pi. And we're gonna do a start flash here. Follow all the steps. Uh, of course, you'll wanna add your phone or some kind of other wireless device uh, to the VTrust as flash. But once you do that, then of course, it'll go out and start searching for your device. Again, make sure it's in pairing mode. If it wasn't in pairing mode, uh, when you removed it from the Tuya app, hold down that power button again for about five seconds until you see that light flashing and then you should be good to go. But uh, assuming all goes well, it should pick it up and start uh, flashing it with the uh, custom firmware. Don't be discouraged if it takes two or three tries to get it to work. It usually takes me a couple of tries every time uh, I need to flash something, uh, that's just the way it goes. Uh, at the very end here, it'll ask you if you want to go ahead and put that tesmoda.bin file on there, say yes, and then you're pretty much done. Uh, at this point, the device will reboot, and uh, you'll be able to uh, move on to that next step and configure the tesmoda firmware. All right, so uh, now that you have tesmoda installed on the device, and you've got it added to the uh, home Wi-Fi network here, then you are ready to uh, go ahead and configure Tesmoda. So uh, basically, uh, we're going to click on configuration down here and uh, configure module up here at the top. The one we're looking for is PWM dimmer. I think it's number 73. The default settings for that are good, so you shouldn't have to change anything. So you can go ahead and hit save on that. Of course, it will restart um, Tesmoda one time for it to uh, pick up the new module, pick up the new settings. And as you can see, once it comes back up, it even looks uh, correct already. Has the toggle on and off, as well as the slider there for the dimmer. Now you can go back into the settings one last time and uh, do any other uh, tweaking that you want to do. Uh, if you want to uh, change the host name under the Wi-Fi settings, and of course, you'll want to go into uh, MQTT there and add in your uh, uh, MQTT information as well. But once you have all that in there, you're basically ready to go. You have it configured with Tasmoda.
let's move on to that next step. All right, so there's not a whole lot that we have to do in order to get this thing added into Home Assistant, especially if we are using the MQTT integration. Uh, but basically, uh, from our uh, Tasmo to console here, we are going to uh, set option 19 to 1. This will put it in discovery mode for Home Assistant. And then from there, we'll be able to basically just jump back over to Home Assistant, go into our MQTT integration. We should see that newly added device. And as you can see there, uh, as we go down through there, Caden's uh, bedroom light, it's all set up. We can go in there and now you're able to control this device from Home Assistant as well. So everything is working as it should. Let's go ahead and move on to that last step and see it in action. All right, so uh, let's see this thing in action. On the left side, I have uh, my light. On the right side is a uh, home assistant pulled up there with the uh, switch in it so that we can uh, see this thing work. Uh, we're gonna start by uh, turning this thing off. And you can see it's uh, pretty uh, responsive. It's not, uh, there's not much of a delay there. It works uh, pretty well. Uh, let's turn it back on. As you can see, um, it's almost uh, instantaneous. Uh, we'll uh, just try some different uh, dimming settings here. We'll go uh, part of the way down. And uh, then we'll go uh, almost all the way down. And as you can see, it works pretty darn good. So uh, I'm pretty pleased uh, with the response time with uh, Home Assistant and TAS mode and everything. I think it works. Uh, it works pretty well. That's the end of the video, guys. Uh, pretty uh, pretty nice little setup. I was glad that we were able to get Tasmoda installed using 2 Convert. I thought it went pretty smooth. Uh, I'm really pleased with this setup, and uh, for the most part, I like the Switch quite a bit. It's pretty nice. For 20 bucks, I don't think that you can beat, uh, beat that deal there. Uh, so obviously, if you're not interested in this particular uh, item from Tessin, you might uh, jump over to their website and see what else they have to offer. Let's go ahead and do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, uh, for starters, we unboxed the device. Uh, once we did that, then we went through and installed it in the wall. Uh, once we got it installed, I walked through uh, getting it set up with the uh, Tuya app. Uh, once we saw how that works, we removed it from the Tuya app and we uh, flashed it with uh, Tasmoda custom firmware using Tuya Convert. Once that was done, then we uh, configured Tasmoda, and then got it added into uh, Home Assistant. Lastly, I showed you what that looks like in action. Again, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, like I said, I think it went pretty well, and for 20 bucks, uh, you can't beat this switch. So definitely check it out uh, if you're looking to replace some of the switches in your home. Uh, being able to load Tasmoda on it makes it nice to not have it in the cloud or anything like that, so that is pretty good. As always, I want to thank everybody that has donated to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, jump over to uh, my Teespring merchandise page and check out all the uh, Burns Home Automation merchandise. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.